Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here at Hlithseld, assuming I'm saying that in any way correctly. And uh, yeah, we're going to be hopefully <laughs> not struggling today. We're going to be defeating seven hopeful, uh, hopefully beasts or other dangers in the area. Before we get into that, we do have our Hobbit gift of the day. Uh, Tome of Trafficking, 20 Virtue Experience. So not that amazing, all things considered. Um... Yeah, we went against one of these enemies last time, and we seem to have an alright time against it. So let's quickly see uh, how things are going against these. If we are going to struggle or not, if we want to specifically stay away from a certain enemy. I'm not really sure how we feel. We also have the Hobnanigans. Uh, I'm going to decline it. It's not really something we care about, because it's not going to give us any experience whatsoever. But we're going to get those. We're also going to get a few uh, deed starts today which is good and uh, maybe we'll have a look at this uh, hunter thing and see if we can get a quest from him because if we can get a quest then we can get more experience which is just gonna help us out just that little bit extra um, but yeah it's gonna be a pretty all right time I think <laughs> there we are so, yeah, I was a little bit worried because these guys are level 130 that we were going to struggle just a little bit against them. I did struggle when we went to um, the Vales of Anduin originally with the uh, Firefly or the Fly type enemies. But I think um, these ones here, we're probably, there's less of a gap, I think, um, between what there was then between the two enemies or us and the enemy and uh, what there is now, which is good. And I think since then I have moved Blood Arrow and started using it more, so I've got that advantage as well, which is good. But yeah, no real concern there. And we've got Culling the Hunters. How many do we have to kill? Ten. Well, we might as well keep the quest, and then worst case scenario, uh, we have, you know, um, that quest there. If we defeat any or have to go against any in the future, which will be good for us. Uh, we already took that deed off. That was fine. I was confused for a second. But hopefully we can find some actual, like, allies around us here because, you know, it's a little bit weird. Having, you know, this encampment thing, but no, you know, nothing around there. I thought this originally was some sort of, um, I thought it was some kind of, uh, village almost. But it, it isn't, clearly. So we'll, we'll just see how that goes. But yeah. Let's. Hopefully. I'm gonna go against one of these. I feel like I'm just getting really distracted. But yeah, I'm gonna go against one of these. I wanna see how we. Like, going against at least one of everything that we can see. Just see how we fare against any of them, if there's ones we want to stay away from. Like, if I know these are really, really problematic, um, which it looks like they might be, since we've got this annoying sort of shadow damage thing. We'll purge that poison quickly. I think we'll probably stay away from these um, if we get, like, a quest that says, Hey, do you want to defeat some wood at a bank? <laughs> then we'll be like, nah, now nah, we're alright, thanks. We'll uh, stick to regular wolves and stuff. And hopefully... Oh, there's a hunter here. We'll wait for us to get some morale back. I think. There we go. And then... Yeah, at least we're getting somewhere started on this quest. It is interesting to me, though, that normally when you get those quests that are like, you start by killing an enemy, you get the quest, and then you start it. Normally, you get at least one towards it. Like, the first one you got the quest off is something towards the actual quest. But in this situation, it didn't happen. It was very weird. But we won't worry about it too much. Let's kill you. Explore potential campsite locations beside the rock southeast. So, pretty much where we were. In fact, nope, okay. I thought it might have been literally where we were. Okay, this looks like our choice. <laughs> Imac nods appreciatively. This will do. Let's get this fire started. 
Okay, so we get a universal solvent, which is interesting. We can use that to make essences. Uh, I think I already have one or two. Uh, I don't know if it's on this character or on my main, but I'm not sure. Either way, we have help Venko and Imac with their individual quests. And then we will also get a new pocket item, which is good because our pocket item's a little out of date at the minute. Though actually it's done quite good for itself. Um, actually, no, it's 125. I'm lying. I thought it was a lot lower than it was. Um, it's only two levels down. But... Yeah, we'll probably go with this one because it's more vi more agility, also more vitality. Whereas this one, we only get like a tiny bit of vitality, and uh, we, you know, are gonna want more morale against enemies that are clearly gonna be doing more damage. Examine the axe and the sword that he has unpacked. Okay. Hopefully, these are relatively simple. Um, leaves the line, they long, belong to my brother's eye, I'll know other times touch them. He then goes, growls at you, but if we go, glowers, he relents a sigh. I'm not, sorry. the three of us came to seek a rightful home, me and my brother, Dusek, and my eldest brother, uh, Lekun. I wish now that it stayed of the east, with their sense in dwelling upon it. My brothers were both slain, and the Frost Horde attacked, and now it forced me alive to fulfill the purpose which we set out. If the Zaruka ever given a home to call our own, I will hang my brother's weapons above my mantelpiece, and last, at last, no peace. Till that day, I'll, uh, bear... Krivsha and Frankova with me, and they will not see battle. Okay, so we're not far from the roaring waterfalls of Mist Allo. I charge you finding a good vantage point to the north and look for the nearest of the three sisters. Okay, well, I'm going to pick you as well because I want to see what, uh, you know, if we can sort of double up. Oh, he doesn't want me to watch anything. Find and defeat the hunting warg Imak claims he can smell. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this quest from our tracker, because that's something at least. Um, so a nose for danger. So I'm actually going to go up north to start. Go to this vantage point, and then on the way down, kill this thing, hopefully, and then come back up. I think that's probably the better way of going across that, about that, I guess. And hopefully these just threaten to attack rather than actually attack. That's ideal. And... Is this going to be it or are we going to have to go somewhere else? Okay. You can hear the commanding view. Or we have a commanding view of the mighty Rykofos. Okay, you stare in silence as the waters of the Rykofos cascade from the heights. Right, hopefully this bat doesn't attack us, and hopefully he doesn't send us everywhere in the world, because uh, it's not fun when you, people do that. They just sit in the camp, and we're the ones who have to go and do everything for them. It's just a bit of a an annoyance there, isn't it? I'd ideally like that not to be the case. How much XP do we need? 15k. So one more quest and we should level that one up, which would be quite good. I think that will max it out, possibly. So we'll have to see. You have returned from the Reich Force. Okay, he's also contemplating his brother's weapons. We're going to drink in silence. Apparently. There we are. Oh, now we need to talk to Glowin. It seems that Longbeards and Jeruka know the same sorrows. Okay. Neither was Zeruka, it seems. He attempts to see the sights of Denibri's brothers. The plans not defeated return to the Eastern Lands. So, hopefully this just allows everybody to see they're not so bad. Like, oh, the Longbeards aren't so bad. The, you know, um, Zeruka aren't that bad. Uh, the Jeruka is my sympathy. But no more and no less than anyone else. Okay. Oh, I thought that would level it up to, like, max, max, but I guess not. Either way, that gives us a chance to, uh... Oh, there's some walk tracks. That means that we still aren't going to be wasting experience or anything. Where? Where? Okay, there he is. 293! Ooh, that's going to be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Circle, keep using blood arrow. 
then we should be fine. We can generally stay pretty, like, just out of range of melee and just out of range of, well, ranged attacks doesn't really have one, but can't use any other, or it's not gonna, it's gonna prioritize using melee over anything else. Uh, like any other status effect sort of thing, so we can generally stay quite safe. There we are. And that hopefully means that you'll be happy. You found the hunting war, didn't you? I know it's true, he nods with satisfaction, a pleased smile creeping onto his face. Okay, like the keepsakes I brought from Mordo as a consistent reminder of my time toiling in the fear of Sauron, I cannot forget, I will not. Now we're going to eat in silence, so we have a, a meal and also a drink, which will be good. And then... Emok was right about the hunting war. Ah, see? So it's going to be like, ah, he's not so bad, the, you know, stout axes and stuff, which hopefully means Glowing can go to uh, Thorin. Is it Thorin? It's not Thorin. Durin, that's the one. And uh, kind of be like, you, you know, guys, these guys aren't that bad. Skill. Okay. So Venkel's trusted token, or distrustful token. Sorry. I understand you fought alongside my son Gimli at a number of recent battles. I did. Oh, we got more quests? Glowin speaks as if only Longbeard fought at Azanur Bazaar. But, but it was it not was so. Not so. Same here. I know that tale. Okay. Longbeards might do well to remember the heroism of my people in those years and treat them with great respect. See, this is totally where this is going to. But like, I yeah, I'm sorry. No offense, my yeah. companions. So we're going to eat and drink in silence once again. Leave them to think. And then... Ah, I spoke over hastily. For I am skilled with my axe, but less so with words. Okay. What's the expression you wear? Have you not found that to be I true? I think that is enough rest for now. Ah, oh, see, we're getting like a whole new thing, like new armor set, which is nice. I think what we'll do is uh, we're going to go over to this bridge and see, but I don't want to... Like, if we got a load of these, like, quests where we're going to be traveling, I might sort of... Well, we got we got a lot done. So we've got, well, at least one, two, three, two million experience today. I mean, two more quests and we level up, or one more quest tomorrow and we level up. This is now fully maxed. Yeah, we're very close to the 128. So we might finish a teeny bit early because we're getting quite a lot done. And also, uh, Did not come here for yeah, anything. it might... The town may still speak to us. Might struggle with that. So what we might do is try and find these three spots, but not worry about the enemies so much. And then next episode, we'll worry about that a bit more. So northeast side, northern ruins, and disturbed off. So I think those are those two rings, and then the ring down here. So there's the reflecting pool, which we definitely saw on the map. I feel like this map is slightly off like a tiny bit i don't know why obviously like that's a big icon for quite a small thing but i'm just being very wary of that sort of thing i want to just be careful and not really get in too many fights yeah there's some disturbed earth now this thing's probably going to attack us oh i can probably get relatively close From the Marju Prior metal badge marked with a thundercloud symbol. I don't know why I really worry too much why I can just now run away, but I'm I might struggle because of this uh thing. I think we'll be alright. As soon as we get out of combat. And if we don't get out of combat, I'll just have to use my use that. It gives us a couple more seconds. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, cool. I think there was a little bit of a delay on it, but now we definitely need to stay away from the enemies. But yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll do these things here, similar to what we did last episode, where we completed the, like, 
location bit of the quest. And then we, uh, yeah, we, we found the location bit of the quest and then worried about killing the enemies in the episode after. Because I know if I start now, we're going to be here for a very long time because <laughs> that's generally the way these go. And then I'll, I don't want to have a super duper long episode. Right, let's be careful though. Let's see what we can find. Keep an eye on the map because the map will obviously show us the enemies. There's a chest though, so let's try and see what's in the chest. Very interested to see what's in there. Uh, Minus Ithil Hides, High Grade Minus Ithil Scarn, and Thorn Holt Branches. So I thought we would get a higher tier than that, but not. These ruins are filled with worm nests, but no sign of a raiding party. I feel like we won't find a raiding party just because I feel like it wouldn't get us to attack more. Maybe? I don't know. Wind whistles among the cracked stones, but no sign of raiders. Okay. And what's this one that's to do? Find Otang the Vile. Well, we can maybe do that in the next episode, I think. What I'll do for now is I'm going to head back to where Glowing is, and then we'll finish off for the day um, in somewhere that's a little bit, you know, relaxed. <laughs> a bit more relaxed, at least, than we currently are. And then next episode we can go full guns blazing and also that means that next episode our first quest will level us up assuming it stays roughly the same amount of experience the only reason i think that was lower is because it was on the tail end of the double experience so it probably would have been 519 uh like the others so there's that going for us so next episode assuming we complete this quest plus the actual killing of the enemies 519 with only 370 to get there and uh that'll be us level 128 Two levels away from actually getting this new armor and jewelry actually equipped. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.